this woman um, was traveling to seven different places in the course of seven years. She was sold in Montenegro, she was sold in Kosovo, Italy, Turkey, Bulgaria. I'm missing a couple of places, I'll have to check my notes. But she was showing me the scars, the cuts on her arm, because she thought that if she cut herself and marked herself in such a way, she would devalue herself and the pimps would let her go. What happened instead is they just sold her to a worse kind of brothel, where she was getting a lot of car mechanics, a lot of construction workers, and a lot of soldiers. Now, what's interesting about this is she didn't want me to photograph her face, because she herself is a trafficker. She sells women, even though she was in that position. And there were charges pressed against her in Moldova. She didn't want her face photographed for good reasons. So we're sitting there and I'm interviewing her about why were you doing that, knowing the kind of hell you went through. Why would you sell your neighbor? Why would you sell your girlfriend? Um, I noticed that this was a hot summer day in Moldova. This is not in Chisinau, this is in a smaller town in Moldova. And I noticed that she was wearing long sleeve, uh, a long sleeve shirt. And I said to her at one point, show me your arms. And her reaction, this is in Russian, her reaction was, you know? And I said, yeah, I know. And she lifted her shirt, and this is what I saw. And I said, look, I know you don't want me to photograph your face, but let me photograph your arms, and let me tell the story that you're telling me now. And no one will see your face. So, this here is Natasha and her younger sister. Natasha was also trafficked to Turkey. She was also trafficked to Israel. This is Maya, she was trafficked at the age of uh, 19 to Moscow, she lost a lot of weight and her first experience when she was sold was that she was taken to a group of 12 men and they each took turns for three days and by the time they released her to or the pimp came to pick her up she could hardly walk. This is again Natasha and her younger sister and Natasha said which is when I was taking the photo, she said, sometimes they smell, referring to the clients, sometimes they smell and they're dirty, but you have no choice.